Whoop. We got an excited puppy because we are at Spencer's Butte today. This is gonna be our addition for Map It Monday today. We are excited to be back here once again. We love this hike so much that we want to map it for you guys. It is in Eugene, Oregon, and it's right outside the city about 10 minutes away. We came here the other day and we did the hike, so we might have some clips from that, some clips from this, but we wanted to take you guys along because it's really an awesome workout and an awesome view at the end. Let's go. As you guys can see, there are plenty of parking spots over here, so pull up. Have a mask with you just in case if you're coming across other people's path or you're gonna talk to anybody, or just keep your distance, stay six feet away. From the map, there's actually a couple of different places where you can enter to hike up. This is just the place that the Google Maps will take you when you map it here for next Monday, when you map it on Mondays. Another great thing about hiking here is you can bring your pet with you. There's a lot of places that are off limits to pets, but here you just have to make sure you have a leash. That way your pet is good to go. They got toilets. The toilets seem to be really clean here too, which is great. So make sure that you guys use them properly and do not make a mess because making a mess is just disgusting. So please, please, please keep things clean when you go to all these different places. Thank you. Being that this is a butte, it's all uphill, which means it's hard and it's hot. Let's so get naked. <sighs> Perfect. Guys, right here is a beautiful blackberry. You can pick this guy right here. And guess what? Oh, I missed. <laughs> I went right down there. You, can still you want a paco? Mm. Yummy. We've been finding blackberries all over the place. They're starting to blossom. Obviously, we hate the blackberry bushes because they are invasive and they're prickly, and we had to deal with them at the farm for so long, but the berries are delicious. Down the hatch. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. We'll give Paco the last two. Oh, you keep getting the sound. That one tasted like a, like a lemon. I think blackberries are really good for dogs. They're high in antioxidants and things like that. It gives you a bunch of vitamins that you'll need. So eating things like that are wonderful for your body and as well for your dog. So the one really good thing about people on this trail is that everyone's being super mindful of COVID. If you're walking like the opposite direction of somebody, people are pulling over to let you go by. It's just really nice people. So we're at the little crossroads here. Down this way is two miles. It also takes you to the top, but it's a lot harder, steeper route. So we're gonna go the easy way. Mm. There's some really beautiful butterflies. So the thing about butterflies is you really don't wanna touch them because the oils from our skins could kill them. So you really need like an orange or a lemon or a lime or something like that and you put it on your hand. That way they'll be attracted to your hand as well as land on your hand and not have to worry about your oils that are being extracted from your fingers so you don't kill them. So like we said, it's pretty steep the whole way up and there's nowhere really to sit. There's like one bench the whole trail. So you could always take a seat on a root or something like that because you might get winded. Huh. So this right here is the tough part about Spencer Butte. When you get to the top, there are tons of stairs up here and it makes it a little bit hard to get to the top. But don't be discouraged. It's not much farther from here. And when you get to the top, it is an absolutely glorious view from up there. And there's birds and hawks flying everywhere. There are the fattest squirrels on the top of this butte. I don't know what the heck they're eating, but they are huge. Well, I guess from what somebody else has told me is that people actually feed them, so they are super friendly and they'll come right up to you, especially if you have some chips or food. Yeah, probably <laughs> junk food is their favorite. And it's probably not a great idea to feed these guys, but 
Whatever. People, people are gonna do it. How you feeling, Paso? The views from the top up here are spectacular. Make sure you bring lots of water, especially on a hot day, because that is a serious workout getting to the top of here. We've gone through two whole water bottles, and Paco wouldn't even drink his. I gave him some, and he didn't even want it. Stay hydrated. This is a wonderful place to map it, because like we said before, it's in the center of Eugene area, and it gives you so many opportunities um, to just come out here and do a nice little hike. It's not too crazy. There are a couple of uphill battles, but I got faith in you, you can do it. Also, the second time we're doing this now, it felt so much faster. Yeah, it did. Like the first time we were like, oh my God, this butte's never gonna end. And then we just did it now, and I was like, oh, that was really quick. So guys, don't forget to map it here next Monday, or whenever you get time to get out. This is a wonderful spot to do it, and we'll see you guys in the next Map It Monday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, we have videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So don't miss out. Hit that notification bell.